Hello class! Today we are going to be practicing finding numbers on a 100's chart. We are going to practice with my giant big classroom 100's chart. But you also might have a very small 100's chart. Just print it on a piece of paper and you can be using that as well. While I'm finding numbers, you could be finding numbers on your small chart. And later, I am going to show you a fun game to do with your 100's chart. Let's do some practice. Let's look at our 100 chart. Do you see that I have some of the numbers turned around? Today, you're going to tell me what that number is. Wait till I point to it. What number's on the other side of this card? Did you say 12? You're right. What about this card? It's between 35 and 37. What number would be here? You're right. It's 36. I have another one right here. It is between 51 and 53. What number would that be? It's 52. Here's another number. What number would that be? It's right between 67 and 69. Did you say 68? You'd be right. And there's one more. It's directly under 65. What number would that be? Did you say 75? You'd be right. Let's count by 10 starting at 5. 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95. What number would come next? Did you say 105? You'd be right. Did you notice that there are four number tags that are missing? They're the four tags that are all around the number 23. Hmm. What number is one less than 23? Did you say 22? What number is one more than 23? Did you say 24? Now we're going to look at 10 less than 23. And 10 less than 23 is 13. And now I want you to tell me what number is 10 more than 23. It's 33. Today, we're going to count by 10, but we're going to start at 3. I'd like for to hear you count with me. 3, 13, 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, and 93. I have some numbers turned around again. Let's see what they are. I'm going to point to them and I want you to yell them out as loudly as you can. It's four. It's 28. 33. 60. And 84. Today, we're going to count by 10 and we're going to start at 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. What number would come next? 110. Let's take a closer look at my 100's chart. My 100's chart starts at 1 and goes all the way down here to 100. If you have one at home, you could play a game like this. You could take some blocks or snap cubes or little pieces of Lego and you could cover some of the numbers on your 100's chart. And then you could see if a friend can figure out which number you have covered. 
I've covered the number here that's between 32 and 34. Hmm, I wonder what number that is. Can you guess? Did you guess 33? Well done. Here I've covered the number that comes immediately after 15. What number is one more than 15? You're right, it's 16. Do you think that you could trick someone in your class or in your home? I think that you should play this game with the hundreds chart. Oh class, I love practicing with the one hundreds chart. It is fun to try to figure out which number is covered or missing. I hope that you have fun covering numbers on the hundreds chart and seeing if you could figure out which one is missing. Or maybe you could play it as a game with someone who is with you now. I hope that you have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye.